Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And here for Windows 10, we're going to look at the first general privacy settings and what they are, what they do, and how they impact your um, usage and your privacy in Windows 10. So to get them, simply go right click the start button, go into settings, and here you will go into privacy. Here, the first things you'll see is general privacy options. So the general privacy options have to do with mostly a little bit of tracking of, you know, telemetry of apps, but also advertising um, on the system. And uh, so what are the four main options? The first one, let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you based on your activity. Now, this, what it does is simply in some of the apps. So if you go to the Microsoft Store, for example, there'll be suggestions to you. If you download an app from the Microsoft Store, some apps might have advertising within them. It's like on smartphones. When you use your smartphone, you might have noticed that some of the apps actually have, if you don't pay for it, for example, they'll have advertising for other apps. So what happens is this is on it actually will track your preferences, what you like, what apps you choose, and will suggest things that are relevant to what you like. Turning this off does not remove ads. So don't turn this off thinking ads are gonna be gone. They're still gonna be there. They're just gonna be totally random. So you'll see whatever they decide to pop up. And it also resets all of the info. So if you turn it off, it resets the ID. That means if you turn it back on, it's going to take a certain time for the advertising to come back to a level that might be the one, uh, you know, that to, for the suggestions to be more relevant to you. The second option, let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. So once again, this has to do with apps that mostly have, not necessarily always, but mostly have location, for example, if you have a Maps app it might actually show things local to you that are of interest depending on your language. If you speak, for example, my computer is bilingual, French, English, it might show me both things of interest in both languages, for example, and so on. And it can be also online on certain websites where on shopping, for example, stuff like that. So this is a way of tracking you and trying to, once again, give you some form of um, advertising uh, for, you know, uh, localized content and relevant, um, locally relevant information to you. Third, let Windows track app launches and improve start and search results. This is actually tracking how apps behave, the apps you use, how long you use them. It helps in the general advertising of, 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 of what apps might be interesting to you, but also it sends telemetry if apps crash, stuff like that, it can also be, uh, they, they'll know about it and also they'll know which apps you use the most. It might actually impact on the Windows search for which apps will pop up first also, as um, you know, it will try to get an app that you use all the time for its same feature or for opening a certain type of file and so all things like that and last show me suggested content in the settings app when you go into the settings app you might have advertising of apps or something that might interest you given to you by sent to you by microsoft this i turn off because i don't want to have any suggestions for me of any apps in the start menu or in the settings and that one i always keep off because i don't want that for the rest, it's up to you on what level of privacy you deem important. So that means that you might actually have, um, want to turn that off, all of it. Uh, still remember that you won't prevent any ads from showing up, but it won't be tracked to you or your you know, preferences and so on. So it's up to you to choose the level of privacy here on these settings for general privacy options. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.